Hey everybody, Matt Kleskowski here, and I thought it was about time to update the presets video, installing and organizing presets inside of Lightroom. And I like to do this for every new version of Lightroom so that we can talk about any questions or any changes when it comes to uh, installing and organizing your presets. Uh, the first question that comes up with Lightroom 5, because that's our new version right now, first question that comes up is, will Lightroom 4 presets work in Lightroom 5. And the good news is, is they will absolutely work and they should work almost exactly the same as they worked inside of Lightroom 4. When, when Lightroom went from version 3 to version 4, there were so many changes inside of the basic panel and in some of the settings that we use, some of the core settings that we use when we create a preset, that your preset that you applied in Lightroom 3 could actually look very different if you applied that same preset in Lightroom 4. Uh, so you'd have to go in there and try to try to kind of almost calculate to get the same look uh, between the two versions. So the good news is with Lightroom 5, your Lightroom 4 presets will work just fine, okay? And they'll get upgraded over to Lightroom 5 when you do the install. And so all that you'll need to do is come over here and you can click on your, your Lightroom 4 presets on Lightroom 5. Everything will work exactly the same way. So you don't have to worry about that. Next up, installing presets. There's a few different ways to do this. Uh, the, the way that, that, that I find the easiest way to do it is just come over here to your presets panel and just right click. Okay, and it does make it does make a difference where you right click on what folder you like you right click in. and we're going to talk about these folders in just a second. But just understand it does make a difference on what folder you right click on. Like right now, I'm right clicked on the Lightroom 5 presets folder. And when you do that, you're going to click on import. Then you're going to go and you're going to get whatever preset it is that you've gotten from somewhere. Remember, we're installing presets. So you've downloaded these presets from some website somewhere and you want to get these in. The first thing you'll see is a lot of times presets will come in a zip file. OK, because people will probably bundle three or five or 10 or 20 or 100 presets into a zip file. Don't try to import the zip file. Lightroom's not going to recognize it. You have to unzip the file and you have to click on the preset that's inside of there. If there's multiple presets, you can click on those as well. But you select the preset and then click on import. And you're going to see here's my Lightroom 5 folder. And there goes that tonal contrast preset that we just imported. And by the way, kind of a little side note, you can move this. So if I wanted to move it into another folder, say I move it up here, if I wanted to move it into another folder, I just drag it over the Lightroom 4 folder and it'll it'll drop right in there. Presets get stored alphabetically, so it's going to show up down here toward the bottom. So you can move them once they're inside a Lightroom. Now let's talk a little bit about these folders. It's just a way to organize your presets, all right, so that everything doesn't go into the default, which is user presets. All right, because Lightroom comes with presets and it's got Lightroom in front of it. So anything that says Lightroom, that actually came when you installed Lightroom. So Lightroom black and white filter, black and white presets, color presets, down the line. Those came with Lightroom. Everything else are folders that I've created, except for user presets. If you don't create a folder, Lightroom automatically creates this user presets for you. So if you want to create a folder when you're organizing, all you have to do is, again, right click and choose new folder. And then you can make a folder. So if I have a lot of black and white presets, maybe I make a black and white folder. All right. When you click the plus icon to create a preset, you should also know that it shows up right here. Here's all your folders. And you can create a new folder at that point too. But here's all your folders here. So you can store those new presets that you create. You can put them right into the new folder. All right. And finally, naming. Last thing about... Uh, installing and organizing your presets is to understand that they get they they get listed alphabetically. So if we take a look over here into well, let's take a look at the Lightroom 4 folder because this is a good example. Uh, take a look at what I've done here. So first off, all the A's and then the B's, and you can see see the idea here. So it, they get stored alphabetically. However, if you put a number in front of it, that takes precedence. Okay, so you have, like here, I have one wedding day. All right, so that one's going to go up at the top. So one of the things that you can do is you can put a number in front of your presets. If it's something that you use all the time, you always want it to be up at the top of the preset list here. Just put a number in front of it, you know, one wedding day, two, whatever, three down the line. And that way you can be assured regardless of, of what the name of the preset is and what letter it begins with. That way you're assured that that preset's always going to be up at the top.
Okay. Last thing about presets is just understand that they're just files that are on your computer. If you want to see them, just right click and just go down to show in finder or on windows it'd be show and explore. All right. And it's going to show me a window where all these presets are. So I can actually see where those presets live on my computer. If I ever needed to move them to another computer, this is where I could come because I could take, I could go here and I could select all these presets. And I could copy them. I could back them up. I can move them onto another computer and then just install them into Lightroom from that other computer. And they'll automatically always, when you do the right click here and you choose import, they'll automatically always get put into the right place. So you don't have to worry about where they get stored. Lightroom takes care of that for you. And then the last thing here is if you ever have a preset that you want to share with somebody, just click on the preset, right click on it and choose export and it'll bundle it up into that little template file that we saw earlier when we installed. It'll bundle it up into that file and that way you can share it with anybody you want and they can install it using the same methods we just used here. Okay, so there you go, kind of the, uh, the, the update on Lightroom 5 and how it works with presets. Good news is, if you have Lightroom 4 and you upgraded to Lightroom 5, all of your presets work exactly the same as they did in Lightroom 4, so you don't have to worry about any changes there. All right, thanks for watching, folks. My name is Matt Klaskowski, and I'll talk to you again soon.